Man, if there's one company that knows how to shoot itself in the foot, it's Google's hardware division. As yes, it seems we might still get some sort of an announcement of the Pixel 4a, but the launch is kind of weird. There's some new molds of the iPhone 12 design and there are certain things missing, and the Microsoft Surface Duo might actually come earlier than expected, but we don't know why. I'm Jaime Rivera, and seriously, the Pixel 4a is like quarantine. We just want to get it over with. This is Pocket Now Daily sponsored by MediaTek. Stick around to learn why you should pick MediaTek for your next purchase. The official news today begin with deals. We are getting closer to Father's Day. Those deals are getting even better. And sure, I'll send you my Amazon wish list for those of you that want to send me something. Samsung currently has the Galaxy S25 G for $200 off, leaving it at $800 shipped for the 128 gigabyte of storage variant. B&H has also got the latest MacBook Gear $100 off, leaving it at $899. And Amazon is matching that deal as well. The latest MacBook Pro is also $100 off, starting at $1,200. And finally, the Surface Go 2 is available for $40 off, leaving the 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage variant for $510. We've got more deals on iPads, Jabra earbuds, and more in the links in the description. Now, earlier this month, we've been covering the possibility of a replacement for the Chromecast. There's a code named Sabrina, there's a new design, and there are leaks of it. And we keep getting more details, but apparently it's not going to necessarily be the replacement that we were expecting. See, according to a new report from XDA developers, this device might bring a low latency gaming mode feature, meaning it replaces the Chromecast Ultra and not the regular Chromecast. Inside a pre-installed system app called Sabrina Service, there is a reference to a feature called ALLM, which is an HDMI feature that allows console, PC, or other devices to enter low latency mode to provide a lag-free experience. This means Sabrina is going to enable this pretty much the moment that there is demand for it. And again, yes, Chromecast Ultra, meaning, yeah, it's not gonna be as cheap as the regular one. Now, how about if we talk a little bit about Apple? There has been a lot of buzz about WWDC. It's mainly a software event, but we keep seeing that there is hardware in the pipeline. We've been covering the possible ARM-based MacBook because if they're going to announce ARM and Mac OS, then there has to be a product. We assume that's gonna be the old MacBook that's gonna turn into the new MacBook again. But also, we've been discussing another product that might not necessarily run on ARM, or could it? See, according to a new leak on Twitter, there's a schematic for the latest iOS 14 code that shows the new iMac. The source put a picture comparing the old schematic to the new one, and it pretty much looks like a Pro Display XDR. Based on the schematic, the tipster did a render, and he also said that it should look again, like the Pro Display XDR. Some people are making comparisons as well to it looking like the iPad Pro. We've been covering that. so. There are a couple of questions, like I don't think that it's going to be the case where we get an ARM-based iMac because nobody's going to travel with it, unless you're Marquez, who actually travels with an iMac Pro everywhere. But then the second question would be, is the stand going to be included and how much will it cost? Now, how about if we also talk about Microsoft as we've been waiting for its products like the Surface Duo for a bit, it got delayed and we've been hearing so many things. Apparently that's going to change, but we wonder if it's a good idea. Bear with me here. See, we were expecting this product to launch by this year's holidays after the pandemic delayed the Duo and the Neo and Windows 10X in general. But according to a new leak from Twitter, Microsoft wants to launch the Duo before the Galaxy Fold 2 comes out. This means that we should get it in time during July as we're expecting the next Fold to be announced sometime in August. And the tipster doesn't specifically mention a launch date, but he does claim that the Surface Duo would start shipping in less than two months. Specifications still haven't changed, including the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, 6 gigs of RAM, and a display that's 5.6 inches in diagonal. Thing is, is this really a product that competes against the other is the question. That's going to be rather interesting as the Fold doesn't tend to be a phone and a tablet, whereas the Duo, like, we don't know exactly what that thing is going to be if it's completely barren at the back. We'll see. But all right, back to Apple. We have seen some design molds that have been emerging on the iPhone 12 for a bit. Today we've got some more, but the reason it's not the hottest news today is because 
Well, it doesn't really say that much. See, these are pretty standard, like the ones we get each year, but there are some differences in this one. First off, we have the four different models we're expecting this year, and they do show the new square design, which is kind of mimicking the iPad Pros. However, these seem to have a regular size notch and not the smaller one that we're supposed to be getting according to the leaks. The LiDAR sensor isn't on the camera array as well, but that was the case with the iPad Pro renders anyways. And again, these are just molds. They could just be molded for cases, which literally have nothing to do with, you know, the notch. So it could just be that that's the reason why they kept that. We'll see, it's kind of early. And guys, before we get to the hottest news, in addition to today's question, here's a word from today's sponsor, MediaTek. Did you know that its technology powers the popular Sony WF-1000X Mark III's? These were the first true wireless earbuds to feature true active noise cancellation. 24-bit audio signal processing also makes these one of my favorites for sound quality. We have a battery life of up to 24 hours with the carrying case and full integration at a tap with the Google Assistant and even Amazon's Alexa Assistant. You can find them on Amazon in the first link in the description and then follow the second one to learn why brands like Sony trust MediaTek. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And finally, for the most interesting and should I say WTF news of the day, let's talk about Google and its hardware division. I mean, if there is one company that knows how to shoot itself in the foot, it's these guys. So if you remember, Google practically killed all the hype of the Google Pixel 4a recently. I mean, so much buzz around the phone and then a crazy delay. And then we've got The Verge. We even put out an article that says, where is the Pixel 4a? And now John Prozer is back with another update. According to his tweet, Google has delayed the phone once again. He claims that the launch will still happen on July 13th, but the phone is now listed to be launched until October 27th. Second, I'm gonna repeat that, October 22nd. Oh, and that's only for the black variant as the new barely blue is apparently gone from the listing as well. Thing is, if you notice all of our reviews of the Pixel 3a, there's one reason why all of us at the event did not pick the black variant. We ended up going for the white or that sort of purple variant. And it's because the black version of that Pixel 3a was just it just did not look good. And so obviously that was like the other color options that were available. So I'm really skeptical that this phone is gonna pull that off according to the leaks that we saw, but let us know in the comments down below. Let's forget about the color and focus on the launch date. If it gets announced in July to, pick the, to get picked up in October, are you going to care or not? Cause fine, it's gonna be in time for Black Friday and whatever the case may be, but it's also gonna be hit by those iPhones. I think it's gonna be DOA, but that's me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you wanna get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me question the important questions of life. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanks so much for watching. And I can't wait to read your comments about questions about questions. We'll see you tomorrow.